Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well... Uh... <sighs> Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Step away! Right now! You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. And you're a marksman. <laughs> We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. I'm still waiting to wake up. All right. The old industrial area. Why am I here? Only way forward. Okay, doesn't last. Noted. When the fracture broke time, some objects became... unstable. With my new abilities, I could manipulate their timelines, rewind them. There's gotta be another way in there. Chopper for me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. Roger. 
Seeing Paul's face on that screen, it was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why, but part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. Want us to send additional teams to search for Joyce? Negatively. Focus efforts in our PR campaign. Amy Ferrero's confession goes live in a matter of minutes. What about Jack Joyce? Once that confession hits the air, the whole city will be looking for him. You'll have nowhere to turn. You'll come to me tonight. At the gala? You're sure? Positive. Squad doing with those video cards, number 83. Looks like some bitch named Amy's gonna be the poster girl for Serene's PR campaign. Filming confession videos. We blew the library to create misdirection. The media's gonna latch to that. Oh, oh my god, it's him! Joyce is here! This elevator looks like the only way out of here. There's gotta be a generator around here somewhere. No power. Figures. brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun blazing ship parade through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a monarch clonin harvesting operation and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about dry docks? If Paul's at the dry docks, then that's where I'm No! At. Jack, the fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he Will's dead. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. Paul's the key to understanding all this, and I'm gonna find him. We both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Take this through.
Paul was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized the place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. more reflective. Like, wish we could undo what we done sort of deal. Dave will feed you the line. Dave? You're using your names. You're not letting me go, are you? You're never... From the protest, what do you... I am so sorry. I didn't want to, but they made me do it. They made you do what? What is this place? They forced me to make false confessions for the news, I think. I'm so sorry, Jack. They were armed. Hey, whatever you did, it's not your fault. None of this is your fault. I'm just glad you're okay. Marduk was doing something, but this is completely fucked up. <sighs> Listen, I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know the way? Uh, no, uh, no, I don't think so. But they took me in through a security station nearby. I can help you find a way through there. I owe you. The security station is right over there. <sighs> oh, I knew Marnock had a dark side, but this? They're controlling the entire media, everything. They can't cover this up. It's too big. <laughs> they can, trust me. Locked. Ah, okay, there must be a gate control around somewhere. Yeah, I'll check. Monarch's twisted. Hey, it worked. It's not holding long. I don't think you're fast. That could be fixed. Oh my god. You're just like them. Like who? I saw them on the way in. These geared up soldiers that blink in and out. Okay. Oh, well, something to look forward to. You know, I thought I was losing my mind when I saw that. You're part of this. <clears throat> I need to know what's going on. You really want to open that can of worms? You just defied physics. I'm entitled to all the worms. All right, we're locked out. Maybe you can climb through that open window on the second floor? Yeah, that should work. Wait here. Everyone here answers to a guy named Paul Serene. And apparently he found a monarch in 
to that door. took things too far. Shit. Things got very violent. I'm so sorry, Jack. They forced me to do it. I... I know. Of Jack Joyce. There's nothing you could have done. That map over there should help you figure that out. ...to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. Round Zero. That's the same area my brother used to have his workshop. I may have to pass through there to get to Paul. Paul? As in Paul Serene? That's why you're going to the dry docks. We have unfinished business. You may want to stay here until I'm done. Yeah. I think you're right. I'll open the door for you. Okay. Stay in contact. Find a radio. I'll be on channel three. And be careful. Yeah. You too. Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... Silent fire! Did I scream enough for you? My powers were unpredictable. They kept growing by leaps and bounds. Still kicking. Monarch radio is lighting up. They heard a noise and know you're coming. Be careful out there. Thanks for the heads up.
Time to move. Still okay out there? Yeah. Any idea where I go next? Well, before you said hi, Gatehouse Squad was talking about activating security measures to lock some door on the second floor. That's a start. Thanks. Like a way out. Now, how do I get it open? Hey, Jack. The husky lady on Monarch Radio seems to be unable to reach Gatehouse Squad. Remember the geared up soldiers I mentioned to do the teleporty stuff you do? Yeah. Joyce just Apparently took out they're intending to say hi back with a grudge. So there's that. <sighs> hey, let's turn off security. Uh-oh. Jack, they're coming your way.
Yeah. I did some digging. This chronon operation is harvesting some kind of fuel. It's used to power a device called the CFR. Ever heard of it? CFR? No, what is it? I'm not sure, but it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. The thing they stole from the university, this operation, everything's linked to the CFR somehow. What the hell is Paul up to? obsolete in the near future. I'm queuing up the presentation to make sure everybody remembers the essentials before we proceed. Hello, I'm Dr. Sophia Amaral. Over the past six years, Monarch has made vast technological advances in the area of higher joints particles, better known as chronon particles. On July 4th, 2010, unique temporal anomalies Sophia began Amaral. to occur in a very small Monarch's Open resident fire. Chronon scientist. The university. Creating the perfect conditions for extraction, which led to Clear exit down here. We have to head upward. There's got to be something I can use to get up there. elevator. Jack, I found documents here about some kind of private gala Marnak is hosting tonight. Tonight? After everything that's happened? It has something to do with their future plans. Serene's delivering a speech and the guest list has everybody from Monarch higher-ups to big shot scientists to the mayor of Riverport, which raises the question, why now? I don't know. But I'm going to find out. <laughs> okay. Getting closer, I think. Now, which way's the dry dock? 
Okay. Okay. Looks like the trailer has power now. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. There wasn't much there but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch just got footage of your lady friend sniffing around some confidential Monarch files. Kind of a big no-no around here. Amy, I gotta go back for her. Don't. I'll pick her up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul, the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the Monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. Uh, thanks for the vote of confidence. through here. Jesus! Close one. HQ, we just heard an explosion near the harvesting perimeter. Can't take a wild guess who that could have been. Charlie, get off the line. Striker team, take defensive positions around ground zero. Roger. Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the world was HQ, hostile sight. Over. I wanted to see the target and it seemed to be the only way to the dry docks answering. Oh, my God. 
driving, guys. stutters. We knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Holy shit. And he never tried to stop it. At Ground Zero? No, never. He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. It's the only way forward. Absolutely no entry. But I'm pretty sure that's more of a guideline than a rule. What is this? What the hell? What is, what what is this? this? That already happened. to describe it. Will was gone, but <sighs> he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about, everything he tried to protect me from, it surrounded me. A puzzle, trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. 
Need my grant extended another year. Please, please, don't do this. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It was impossible to crack. Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock. I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul. There's something wrong with Paul. Cronon syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. What was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful. Gala. 
Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you at... Yes, you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No! Stutters were getting bad. Be shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it'd get much worse. But we both know it did. That's gonna hurt. Keep going. 
Beth had been on her way to meet me. I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock. listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. Babysitter? Are you kidding me? I got good intel off that computer. Bitch. My ride, my music. What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in this briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury's swimming hall on the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. This building's been shut down for years. Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, and I know Monarch doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. Yeah, I bet you like the paycheck too. Try to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. 
Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. Will's key. Maybe it unlocks this. The key doesn't fit. Okay. I'm gonna find another way in. Make it quick. I'll keep a lookout for unwanted company. I could swear this is the same cab I was in when I came to the university. It's a taxi. They all look the same, don't they? I'll check the license plate on my phone and... Nick Marsters? That's the name of one of the witnesses we picked up from the university. Yeah, I recognized his picture. I saw him there. Hey! But how did you think I found a way in. Here? Do you think Monarch took it? It's not possible. I've been monitoring Monarch activities this whole time. I don't know. <laughs> Stutters aren't going away. Yes. Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. What the hell were you doing here, brother? Time travel experiments with rats? Twelve thousand dollar moving bill. He must okay, have hauled a lot more of this place than just some old boxes. This is William Joyce, and I'm about to conduct the first animal test of the machine prototype using my trusty pet mouse, Schrodinger, in order... He's gone. You owned this place since... 1999? Come on, Why didn't you tell me, come Will? To Willie. Come on, come on, come on, you're okay. You're all right, you're all right. No wonder you are always coming okay, up with crazy finally, shit. Okay, finally, we're sending Schrodinger into the machine clockwise through the corridor, which will send him five minutes into the future, meaning he will reemerge. Hello, Riverport. Teresa Sednak here, filling in for Bobby Radford. About to bright your day. Working on it. All right, let's take a look around. Down here. <sighs> nice work. This note, it's directed at me. Will. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken. Oh, shit. What the... Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it, because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives, 
depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. What was that? He recorded that for me in 2010? What the fuck? He said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. Help me push this out of the way. <clears throat> Jack, your brother addressed that video to me. <clears throat> but I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish. But he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Hey. Is that? Yeah, I think so. Second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. That's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I helped them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we can do this without the countermeasure. But you're right. We'll need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. Um, explanation? Anybody? I saw some kind of visions of this machine in his workshop. He must have hit it here. Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. Are you sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. I'm hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will told us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. The controls are up here according to the monitor. Gotta activate the core now. Will received a massive research grant in 1997. He'd successfully built the time machine by 1999. But the results scared him. He never told a soul. Here goes nothing. Okay, 
We activate the corridor next. I can't insert the date yet. Okay, there is no way that thing should be exposed like that. This was the final step. I need to set up the machine first. These schematics are all in Will's writing. He did all of this. Built everything. Monarch was made aware of its existence shortly after... The corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. in a trunk of his goddamn car. <laughs> That's my brother in a nutshell. That didn't sound good. Fuck. Let's just hope it still works. Something's wrong with the machine. We don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's had a chronic research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. 